Hello, my name is Jose Vicente Perez and I'm going to show you the two activities that I, that I have I set in order to teach uh, global warming terminology. Okay, the first one is called Bahuzu, it's a web program and it's going to be the first activity of this, this two set of activities. Um, the acti uh, the, this activity is uh, split in two parts. The first one is that uh, the study mode. The students must study this uh, uh, terminology and in order to be able to play uh, in the second part of this activity. So uh, we will give 10 minutes to the students to, to, in, order, in order to uh, study this terminology. When they have done, Study. We go into the st uh, play mode. So uh, we have to set up a little bit the the game. And um, in our class, we will have four teams. And we will um, go with the classic mode because they have power ups and like gamification um, features that will make the the, the game more fun. Okay. Um, like you see, they have, uh, we have four teams, and now is the turn of the team number one. And uh, team number one must pick uh, one question, for example, the question number 10. And then, well, this, this is uh, one of the features, is like they give, they give them uh, 10 extra points, and they have to choose with, uh, what team uh, they want to give them the points, for example, team number three. <laughs> They will get. Uh, they will re excuse me, remove ten points. Okay, and now it's the turn of team number two, and they have to answer this question: What's a large area of land covered with grass? And uh, they have to answer. And when they, um, they, they we check the question, it's, if it's okay, and we 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 give them we give them the point. And now is the time of uh, team number three. And they have another, another time they have to answer the question. We check if the question is if it's correct, and if they haven't answered correctly the question, so we <coughs> remove uh, they they remove the points. Okay, and that is the this is the the activity. And now we're going to see the second activity. The second activity uh, is called taxi, and they will they, they will need this uh, worksheet that uh, I will um, I will send you this this worksheet. And this is this activity is um, for this activity. Sorry, we need an an open an open room with without uh, without furniture. And um, the, the students they will have, they will have this this uh, worksheet, and they they will move around the the, the room, and they, they they will move around ask, asking for a taxi with with a raising uh, with a raising hand, and when they find another student um, who's uh, asking for a taxi, they will have to answer each, uh, um, answer each other a question. Uh, for example. Um, this, uh, the question number three is what's a period of time such as a weeks when the weather is uh, much hotter than usual so when they ask this question they, uh, the other student have to answer and if it's correct they have to um, uh, sign the, the, the in this area and they they and then they have to move around the other time uh, looking for another student and, and asking for a taxi and looking for another student who is, asking, uh, who is looking for a taxi. And they have to complete all the questions with the uh, signatures of the, the other student. It's important that they only ca uh, can have the signature of the student or not. And that, that will be uh, the, my two activities that I set up in order to, to teach global warming terminology. For the second part of this oral presentation, I'm going to explain uh, what are the materials that I needed, the purpose of the activities, the, um, the criteria assessment of the activities, and the, um, why these, I think these activities are innovative, and the difficulties that I have encountered uh, setting up and, and doing these activities. 
So, uh, first of all, the materials that I need uh, for the first activity, the bomb muzzle, is, um, are the following, a computer, and, uh, a projector, and uh, we will need an uh, internet connection and an account in the Bamboozle web program. The, um, the purpose of the, this activity is to study and learn vocabulary while they're playing a, a game and the criteria assessment of this activity is to, uh, to, learn, and voc to learn vocabulary and actively participate in the uh, to, to excuse me to learn the vocabulary and actively participate in the in the activity answering and uh, asking questions and the difficulties that I have encountered the setting up this activity is to find um, a free uh, online activities that. Uh, uh, allow me to play a game with the whole class because there's, there's a lot of uh, web programs out there but they, they are, we need to pay for some of them and other ones we need a computer for every student so this 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 program allows me to 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 play with the whole class and and, and it's free and finally what i think this activity is uh, motivating is because of the it's a ICT activity and I have uh, already done it a lot of time with with, with students in, in Spanish classes and it's it's very motivated motivated and uh, the, the, the children uh, like it a lot Okay, for the second activity, uh, the materials that I need is an empty room and uh, this worksheet for every student the purpose of this activity is to um, uh, review the vocabulary that, that, that we have learned and to uh, grasp the, the interactions between, between students. The criteria assessment of this activity is to um, complete this worksheet and to uh, get involved every student in uh, uh, get involved in the activity. The difficulties that, that I have encountered uh, doing this activity is the, um, that uh, sometimes I, I, I don't know if the, the vocabulary that, that, uh, that I set up for the activity or for the, for the unity is, the, the suita is suitable for students because sometimes if, uh, I don't know if it's, uh, it's too hard or too, or too easy and uh, it's one of the, the difficulties that I have encountered. And um, and finally, I think this activity is motivated, is, mo is innovative, because uh, students are not sitting down like in traditional class, and they they are moving around and, and they have to interact with each other. And I think it's it's, um, it's an innovative innovative way of teaching uh, terminology or vocabulary. Thank. You.